Hello and welcome Sagittarius to Moon Kitty Tarot. I'm Moon Kitty or you can call me Kitty for short in the comment sections. This is your weekly Zodiac Tarot reading for the week of July 18th through July 24th of 2021. This is a general reading for Sagittarius. Please note that if this does not resonate with you, Sagittarius, that you um, look up your sun, moon, and rising sign videos to see if there's a video in there that resonates more with you. Please note before that we get started that I will never reach out to you and to set up a personal reading or ask you for money. That's a scammer, spammer, and troll. Please don't fall for their antics. If you would like to set up a personal reading with me or with tarot or oracle or or a kundalini reiki healing session the links to do that is in the description box below along with my social media accounts please make sure you're following those and not following for anyone else's um, tricks again this is um, a general reading for sagittarius and as you can see on the video, I am using the Legacy of the Divine Tarot this week, which is by Ciro Marchetti. Also by Ciro Marchetti, I have his Gilded Tarot Royale miniature deck. If there's any cards that I feel need clarification, then I will pull from those. I have already pulled 10 cards for you this week, Sagittarius. And you'll see these two decks here. It's the Whispering Woods and the Star, Se Star Seeds. <laughs> Words, they're hard. Uh, Star Seeds deck. These are special messenger decks. And at the end of the video, I will see which one I feel drawn to for you, Sagittarius, and pull a message card for you. So like I said, I already pulled 10 cards. So let's see what general energies are surrounding you for the week of um, July 18th, Sagittarius. And we have the Queen of Coins or Queen of Pentacles in reversed. Maybe you're not feeling very nurtured for the week of July 18th. Maybe you're so busy that you haven't had time to take care of yourself, let alone nurturing someone else. Um, and just beware, this could have something to do with your finances, although I'm not really getting financial on this card. The energy that is coming to me is more about nurturing, being kind, or... Um, someone being kind to you, maybe that's la will lack a bit this week. Um, or maybe you won't be surrounded by other people for the week of July 18th. And the reason I say that is because we have the Hermit card crossing the energy of the Queen of Pentacles for the week of July 18th for you, Sagittarius. Um, and the Hermit, like Hermits, um, tend to um, spend a lot of time alone. They're on a quest by themselves or they're just used to spending time alone. Um, and if you notice that on his staff or his wand is the star or it has the light of the star in it, he is lighting his own path and leading his own way. And maybe this week, that's what you feel like doing. Um, you don't feel like being around a bunch of people and you're needing to um, just play it solo for the week, which is fine. We all need time to ourselves, right? So the next card, which is below you, is a another earth card. It is the Page of Coins or Page of Pentacles in reverse. This card to me is saying that um, you have been very strict with your money. You've been very careful with it lately. I do get a sense of finance off of this card as well as the Earth element. Um, I feel like you have been pretty stingy 
lately and maybe that's where the lack of nurturing is coming in you're not spending money on yourself or anyone else you're strictly um, sticking to your budget and putting money aside for a rainy day every now and then it's okay to go get an ice cream sundae <laughs> Okay, so the next card, the card that crowns you for the week of July 18th, Sagittarius, is the, and this deck is called the Faith card or the Hierophant card in the Rider Waite deck. Um, it is in reversed and I do feel like maybe your light is dimming just a little bit because you don't have that nurturing that you need. Um, or you're not nurturing yourself enough. It's just been go, 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 go. And now's the time to take it back a notch. Now's the time to, to really maybe t make yourself a bubble bath, have a glass of champagne or a bottle of wine or something. I mean, cup of wine, right? Cup, <laughs> a glass of wine, not a bottle. <laughs> um, to relight that flame within yourself, but also maybe you've lost a little bit of faith maybe your um spirituality has dimmed just a little bit um or maybe your path is changing your spiritual path is changing in a way that you feel lost um and so you kind of lack direction or lack the faith that a new direction is going to present itself to you um and I want to say that you don't need to worry because the next card is the the three of wands is actually your card Sagittarius um, and I say that because if I can get the camera to focus correctly it's not gonna focus anyway <laughs> In the Three of Wands card is Sagittarius themselves. Um, and as the camera's just not wanting to pick it up because of all the yellow, um, but it is the constellation of Sagittarius. And what I think I might do is make this the thumbnail so you get a better um, view of what I am talking about. So at the end of this video, Sagittarius, make sure you go, and it's the Eight of Wands, not the Three of Wands. I'm such a silly girl. Um, make sure you go back and check that um, thumbnail, or maybe I'll just enter a picture of it so that you can see it better. Anyway, Eight of Wands, okay? Um, so the eight of wands if you notice is coming up from a very cloudy dark stormy sky up into the light of the beautiful sun into the universe into the constellation of sagittarius you are coming into yourself you are coming into your own um and or you felt like that in the last six to 12 months. Um, but I do feel like this is something that's coming to you for your future, that things are gonna calm down and you are going to have direction in your own spiritual path, Sagittarius, that things will awaken within you. Again, listening to your intuition, listening to those divinely given messages, whether it be from God, um, creator, source, divinity, higher power, um, spirit guides angels whatever you want to call it and whatever you choose to work with in your own path um i do feel like that light is going to be coming back and that faith card is going to flip right side up for you so the next card is the four of cups in reverse and i think that maybe you have had so much going on again that lack of nurturing um because normally this person in this card would be is focusing on this cup that's coming down from divinity down from the sky from the heavens whatever you want to call it um he does have three cards that are surrounding or cups that are surrounding him and um they are perfectly fine they're beautiful cups and they are upright themselves um and i do think this is more of your past normally the past is the fifth card which in this case is your eight of swords and um what is currently ahead of you is the six card which is the four of cups in reverse but i'm getting in this situation the cards are swapped for you um sagittarius that 
um, potentially, um, for some of you Sagittarius, it might be this way, how it is in this setup for some of you Sagittarians. However, I think for the majority of you Sagittarians that you have felt like a little um, lost on your path and that you're needing to uh, regroup and um, maybe it was a break time for you. I do feel like that is going to come to an end. Um, your next card, um, I think is going to be a warning card for you. It is the eight of swords. And if you notice in this card, um, this card is, um, a woman who has been, had her, um, sorry, um, has been bound and blindfolded and she is um stuck in a spider web surrounded by eight swords and um usually this card is the next six to twelve months i don't think this qualifies for all of you sagittarians um again take what resonates with you um and if it doesn't just leave it behind um And don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So that's what we got. The next card is referring to your home, your family, your friends. And again, I want to iterate that home and family does not always have to be blood related. Um, it can be your chosen family, those who you choose to keep close to you. And interestingly enough, said interestingly enough, Sagittarius, you have the devil in the upright position. There might be some shackles that you need to take off um, from you. And the devil does not literally mean like Lucifer, Morningstar, Satan, the serpent, whatever the hell you want to call him. This, um, like death, has a completely different meaning. But, um, and tarot so you know just throw off those shackles throw off those chains be your own person and maybe that's why we're getting the lack of nurturing because you're trying to please your family and friends and you're not getting that in reciprocation from them um and that could potentially be why that hermit card is coming up telling you that you need to spend some time alone to relax to take time for yourself um, and not constantly worry about everyone else. So the next card, which is your hopes and fears card, is the hangman in reverse. And I think um, you're stressed out that you're not looking at everything from um, multiple perspectives, that you're only seeing things as far as what's in front of you versus what could potentially be completely surrounding you um and i'm literally getting a circle in my head like you're focused on ahead of you but there is angels and spirit guides and and the divine that are beside and behind you um catching you and and trying to work with you but you're only focused on what's in front of you um so i think that you definitely need to take that into account sagittarius and um start looking at around you and maybe what's in front of you is your home and your family and friends and that's the perspective that needs to change so the next card which is your outcome card is the three of coins and that card is all about working hard it is about um, creating beautiful coins or pentacles um, this elderly gentleman is creating these beautiful pentacles in his workshop and i think that um, it, while this may have to do with your mundane job there's some work that you need to do on your self Sagittarius there's some work that you need to do on your spirituality if you believe in spirituality if you're atheist 
that's fine. Again, take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, Sagittarius, I do feel like um, you maybe are starting to get a little bit worn out from working so hard and it could be working in different aspects of your life. It doesn't generally have to be your employment. Um, so just some things to think about for you, Sagittarius. I am, for you, feeling the Starseed Messenger deck. So, what message do we have for Sagittarius? What message do we have for Sagittarius for the week of July 18th, 2021? What message do we have for Sagittarius for the week of July 18th? 2021 again this is the star seed or um star seeds messenger deck okay <laughs> um interesting so we have the free spirit to be a free spirit is to float without walls to fly without judgment and to love without conditions let's bring that back in real quick so you can read it for a few seconds All right, Sagittarius, I really do think that maybe you've been too hard on yourself um, and it is now time to loosen the grip and to be that free spirit that your spirit is asking you to be. Thank you so much, Sag Sagittarius, tongue tied, <laughs> for being here. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell to know when I upload next. And again, if you would like to set up a kundalini reiki healing session or a tarot or oracle personal reading with me the circle of divination website is listed in my description box along with my social medias i hope you have a wonderful week sagittarius thank you and blessed be